Nigel Wine, how about it? Going to work. I say I'm I'm pretty for the team type player, so I'll do whatever it takes. Nigel White's career high has been not just scoring, but eight rebounds, four assists. She's been doing it all today. Even if it means like if I'm not scoring, I'm gonna do one of those other things that I'm able to bring to the table. Look at the Bradley bench. Mobby Nigel White after a career high 29 points en route to the Bradley win. That mindset comes from just wanting to be on the floor and doing what I can for the team. Also, just knowing what I'm capable of and like what I can bring to the table for us. And then also my teammates trusting in what I can do helps a lot. So. Um, my family's been a huge part um, to my success and just growing up, like they've always been there. Um, the, probably the best support system I have. They may not be able to be in the stands all the time, but they're always like messaging me or telling me how proud they are of me. So I think them being around and like being active in my life has played a big role in just like who I am for other people and for myself. She's very artistic. Um, she always been into like drawing and art. It's funny because like she started playing basketball at six, but it was just so she could have something to do when her brother played. And she ended up being the one who was really talented at it. Um, I first started drawing when I was like six or seven. Me and my mom used to have like drawing competitions and like I had a lot of fun with it. So I just kept rolling with it. I think she wants to do like her own I'm not gonna say art gallery, but she wants to see her work. Like she has pictures, um, storefronts. I kind of see it as a hobby because I think her her love, her passion is basketball. I actually wanted to play soccer, but again, my dad was a basketball head, so I think I leaned more towards basketball. And then I played with boys all the way up until ninth grade. That was a challenge because she played. She said the ball was different. I didn't know that, so she schooled me on that. And she learned a lot playing with just the boys. And them being a lot more physical and stronger in their game. Because like when you're younger, girls basketball it tends to be like really ticky tacky. So I didn't get to like be as physical as I wanted to be inside. And then also I think playing with the boys because like guys get their growth spurts later. Um, I was taller than all of the boys on my team, so I was their five, and so, again, that shaped me to being a good player in the paint. When I noticed her, like, being really, really good, her senior year, I got a chance to, like, really be involved in the games and go to the games. And throughout her college year, it's been a challenge, you know, the frustration of, the plays on the court, and sometimes, you know, you may not play your best game. So I watched her grow a lot from high school to college. I'd say I'm a driver, well-rounded, so I can pass, rebound, um, like, again, score. Uh, I'd say I'm, I'm pretty for the team type player, so I'll do whatever it takes. Um, even if it means, like, if I'm not scoring, I'm going to do one of those other things that I'm able to bring to the table. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I get to play basketball with some of my best friends, uh, like Gabby. Nigel and I are pretty close. We're pretty different people, but we get along really well. I mean, Nigel's hilarious. Um, she works hard. She's very talented. She's really good at art. And honestly, she's probably one of the most athletic people I've ever played basketball with, because she can do things that honestly nobody else can do. And honestly, nobody can stop her when she's in the paint. So I love Nigel. <laughs> Yeah, Nyjah is uh, one of the most versatile players that will ever wear a Bradley uniform. So Nyjah will be our first in our family to graduate from college, so um, I'm extremely proud of her. Extremely proud of her. Uh, it feels long, but now that I'm in my last season, I feel like it went by pretty quick. Um, to sum it up though, I'd say, I'd say it's been a lot of fun. Um, there's been plenty of ups and downs, but again, we've always picked ourselves back up from those moments. And at the end of the day, we were always there for one another. And, you know, we keep our heads held high for every occasion. And I don't know, I love these people, great people.